Two minute anaesthesia, vacuum insulated evaporator, VIE. Oxygen can be produced by fractional distillation of air. It can be stored in cylinders of varying sizes, C, D, E or F at 137 bar, or they could be joined together in a cylinder manifold for one common outlet. And finally, it can be stored in a VIE, vacuum insulated evaporator. As the name suggests, a VIE is not actively cooled. Instead, it relies on insulation and evaporation to maintain the lower temperature. It's a double wall structure with the inner wall of carbon steel, outer wall of stainless steel, and an internal vacuum to reduce conduction and convection of heat into the central chamber. It stores oxygen under the pressure of 4 to 15 bar at a low temperature of minus 160 to minus 108 degrees C. There's a pressure release valve set at 15 bar so excess gas is vented. It, you can measure the content of the VIE by weighing the VIE. Three states exist. Under steady demand of oxygen, liquid oxygen vaporises or evaporates from the liquid into a gas. This cools the remaining liquid by latent heat of vaporisation. The gas then passes through a superheater, which is heated by the ambient temperature, and finally through a four bar pressure regulating valve. Under low demand, the rate of oxygen use is less than the O2 gaseous production, Therefore, excess O2 gas is vented by the safety valve. And finally, under high demand, rapid vaporisation of oxygen drops the temperature in the chamber, so liquid oxygen enters the evaporator, which is large surface area, and uses ambient temperature to allow rapid vaporisation to a gaseous oxygen state. Advantages and disadvantages of VIE. They're expensive to install, risk of fires and explosions, skin burns from liquid oxygen, wastage of oxygen by venting valves, and contamination of liquid oxygen. However, they're economic for large institutions and in comparison to their cylinder counterparts, they're compact and reduced manual handling.